today's video, I spent $1,000 on the most cursed bootleg Funko Pops from Timu. <laughs> Why do they even sell these? To kick things off, this is how some of the Funko Pops arrive. You see, Funko Pops normally have really clean boxes. But this one looks like it's been run over by my truck. Oh my god. Yo, I literally cannot tell the difference. To begin with, we're going to have a look at some bootleg Avengers Funko Pops. We have got Thanos, Hulk, Iron Man and... Wait, what? Who on earth is in this one? Oh my god, it's Captain America. Why on earth isn't there any plastic inside of this one? But also, guys, another thing that I just realized is they've spelled Avengers completely wrong. Who the hell are the Avakan in it? Bro, how do you get that so wrong? Avakan in it. Avakan in it. Avakan in it. But also, guys, another thing that I noticed is every single one of these Funko Pops is called Legend Hero. Legend Hero. Legend Hero. Legend Hero. Although these Funko Pops aren't the best in the world, they only cost $2.86 each. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys, the Funko Pops actually aren't that bad quality. They feel pretty good. They are really good quality, and for the price, I really can't complain. So throughout this video, I'm gonna show you the best Funko Pops to begin with. And then towards the end of the video, the Funko Pops are gonna get extremely cursed and extremely bootleg. These are literally gonna be the fakest Funko Pops you'll ever see in your life. These are future armor Funko Pops that arrived in this polystyrene packaging. Now, they are obviously 100% fake, but to be honest, they are a good 100% fake. The quality of these bootleg Funko Pops isn't that bad, and to a non-experienced Funko Pop collector, they could definitely pass as real. These future armor Funko Pops cost me $15 each, and they were actually the most expensive out of everything you're about to see in this video. But the next knockoff Funko Pop isn't that far off. This is a Shrek Funko Pop, and it cost me $12. Once again, this one doesn't look bad. And honestly, it could probably fool me. But then again, I am extremely dumb. I only found out whilst I was making this video that Funko Pop also make a donkey, Princess Fiona, and a Puss in Boots Funko Pop. And now I really want to buy them all and cut open their brains. But anyway, next up we have three of the goats of football. Rissy, Monaldo, and Neyman. <laughs> Wait, what? Neyman Juna. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, let me know in the comments who the all-time goat is. To be honest, I think that Messi actually looks kind of good. That looks nothing like Ronaldo. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so bad. Oh my god. Oh, that's disgusting. Next up, we have my childhood favorites. But wait just one second. Why does Charmander have boobies? And why does Squirtle have bags underneath his eyes? And why does Bulbasaur have a These Pokemon Funko Pops cost me $4 each. Look how cursed that looks. <laughs> But next up, we have another cartoon special. Of course, these are the Simpsons Funko Pops. Okay, so we've got Marge Simpson, Homer Simpson, Bart Simpson, and finally, we have Krusty the Plowill. Wait, what? These Funko Pops also cost me $4 each, and to be honest, they look absolutely awful. Yo, where even is Homer's mouth? But that brings me on to our next batch. These are One Piece Funko Pops. Now, before we start, please forgive me, I have only watched the live action One Piece, so I really don't know half of these characters. But we have Monkey De Luffy, which looks like he's been run over with a truck. Verona Zoro, which actually doesn't look that bad. We have Corsica's Dias, and it looks like his face is melting off. We also have another Roronoa Zoro. <laughs> um, we have a Brook, which doesn't look that bad. And finally, we have Nami. And one thing that I noticed about Nami is her absolutely massive stick that she's holding. Next up, we have some Hello Kitty Funko Pops. And honestly, there's not much to say about these. They cost me like $2.70. And at first glance, they look relatively normal. But as you get a little bit closer, you will start to see that the paint jobs are absolutely terrible. Next up, we have Sonic. And to be honest, I was expecting all of these to look like Ugandan Knuckles. But they actually don't look that bad. I mean, Knuckles looks a bit weird. But next up, we have Bluey. And to be honest, I didn't even know you could get these Funko Pops. And then we also have some horror Funko Pops. Yeah, they kind of suck. 
But now, guys, I have three more Funko Pops that I want to show you. And to begin with, we have these Chainsaw Funko Pops. Bro, what on earth is this? This is the most cursed Funko Pop in the world. What on earth is this? <laughs> These Funko Pops are absolutely wild. But the next Funko Pops are definitely gonna shock you. These are Minecraft Funko Pops. Okay, right. We have an Ocelot. Oh my God. That looks terrifying. We have a Skeleton. We have Steve. Okay, that doesn't actually look too bad. A Creeper. And finally, we have... Wait, what? Oh my... God. That is actually probably one of the most cursed Funko Pops I have ever seen in my life. And the final Funko Pops that I'm going to show you in this video are Skibbity Toilets. Yo, what on earth is that? We have a toilet man. Oh my god, I can hear something inside of his head. Guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to cut it open. But next up we have um, a TV person, another TV person. And a speaker person, monitor man. We have like this guy, super ultra mega siren head. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what these are called. We have this cameraman, nice. And now guys, these are the most cursed Funko Pops of the whole video. What on earth is that? Gibbity man, why do they even sell these? All right, and the final one. Oh my God, we've got toilet boy. Bro! I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what Funko Pops you want me to cut open. And I will see you again next time.